Welcome, welcome, welcome to Modern APIs with Fast API. I hope you're super excited about Fast API. I am absolutely excited to teach it to you. To me, this is the most exciting Python web framework I've seen in a very long time. Fast API builds on all the great work that frameworks like Flask have put in place. These simple micro framework models or styles of building web applications, but it does it with a special flair, a special touch of all the modern Python features. So you'll see that Fast API is a web framework for building Python web applications that's high performance, easy to learn, fast to code, and ready for high-end production. Of all the new frameworks out there, I'm certainly most excited about Fast API. And I think as you go through this course, you're gonna be excited about using it as well. Easy to work with, but at the same time, you get to use all the cool modern features of Python, meaning fewer errors, faster to code, and so on. I'm looking forward to us getting started with Fast API together. Let's take just a moment and talk about what we're gonna cover in the course. Instead of going chapter by chapter by chapter, just these are the bullet points of what we're gonna talk about. I just wanna set the stage for the big ideas we're gonna cover, and we're gonna weave them in and out throughout the various chapters. We're gonna start by building a simple API, and I really want you to just get a sense of like, here's the essence of Fast API before we get into any of the details. So right away, we're just going to build a simple API. And then we're going to explore these language features, these modern Python language features. What is Pydantic? What is async and await? And how do you use it? All those things, type annotations, type hints. We're going to explore the language features so you're in a position to absolutely take advantage of all of them as we go through the rest of the course. We're going to talk about Pydantic in particular because it's such an important way to model the data exchange and the data validation. So we're going to focus big time on Pydantic. And also, one of the things that Fast API doesn't make immediately obvious is how do I actually have a web page? So if I build an API, it has this data exchange and not everything is even executable within a browser potentially. Right? You could have something that requires a post or a, a delete HTTP verb, which is hard to make the browser do without a little bit of a, a plugin or something, right? You just can't click the links. You'll see that we can use the same templating language as Flask has, Jinja, to actually write and serve static HTML or dynamic HTML even, and then static files. So you can add a little bit of the functionality of what Django or Flask brings by default. You can do that in here as well. And we're going to focus on making that possible. So instead of having two different frameworks, one for your API and something for the web page part, you could just do it all in Fast API. After we get all this set up and in place, what we're going to actually do is build a much richer application that we're going to build throughout the rest of the course. So we're going to focus on building a rich, full featured API that takes advantage of data exchange, data validation, async and await, calling external services, all that kind of stuff. And then we're going to round out the course by taking that full featured API that we're going to build and deploying it out on the internet on a virtual machine. So we'll take you through all you got to do to set up Linux to run production grade fast API applications out there on the internet in some cloud host. So much exciting stuff here. Really looking forward to go through it all with you. So these are a lot of neat ideas and we're going to weave them through the course as we go through the content. What do you need to know to take this course? Well, simply put, basic Python. So we're assuming that you know how to write core Python. You can create functions. You can work with strings. We do talk about the advanced modern Python language features and how to build, put those into web applications. So we don't necessarily need you to know those, but you should have some familiarity with Python itself because we don't start from absolute the beginning and some basic understanding of HTTP, how HTTP works, how to exchange HTML, what are HTTP verbs and so on. We do touch on that as well, but Again, we don't go super deep into it. We just sort of talk about the aspects. So these are the two expectations that we assume. Maybe you can get away with less and with a little extra research, but hopefully you know a little bit of Python at a minimum to take this course.